Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. A, B, C and D lie on a circle with center O. So we can see the four points A, B, C and D are on the circle and the center of the circle is given as O. Angle A, B, C is 58 degrees and angle C, A, D is given as 23 degrees. Calculate angle OCA. So we have to find out the angle OCA which is over here. Now to find this angle let us make use of a circle theorem which is given as angle at the center theorem. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and there is a center O and the statement of the theorem is angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference of the circle. Now the two points A and B make an angle with the center of the circle at point O. And the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle. And let us consider the point to be as C. So according to the statement of the theorem, the angle at the center, which is angle AOB, is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference of the circle which is angle ACB. So if we have an angle of 40 degrees at the circumference of the circle, then the angle at the center of the circle is going to be exactly two times the angle at the circumference. That is, it is going to be 80 degrees. Now let us see how we can use this theorem in solving the given example. So looking back at this diagram, we can see the two points A and C. And the two points are going to make an angle at the center at point O. And the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point B. So we can write using the theorem that angle AOC, that is angle at the center, is two times the angle at the circumference, which is angle ABC. And we know that the angle at the circumference is 58. So we write two times 58. And that is going to give us an angle of 116 degrees. So 116 is going to be the angle at the center. Now to find out the angle OCA, let us consider the triangle OCA. Now the triangle OCA is isosceles because the side OC is equal to side OA because both are the radius of the circle. So if angle C is taken as x degrees, then angle A is also going to be as x degrees. So making use of the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write now as angle A plus angle O plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Angle A is x plus angle O we had got it as 116 degrees plus angle C is x. So this is 180 degrees. So x and x both add together. So we get 2x is equal to 180 minus 116. So we get x is equal to 64 divided by 2 or we have the angle x given as 32 degrees. And since we had taken the angle x as angle c, we can now write here as angle OCA is equal to x degrees which is equal to 32 degrees. Now let us look at the next part of this question. Calculate the angle DCA. So we have the angle DCA over here. This is the small angle we need to find out DCA. Now to find this out, let us use another circle theorem which is given as cyclic quadrilateral theorem. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and there is a quadrilateral within it with all the vertices on the circle. So this is why this is called as a cyclic quadrilateral. And the theorem states that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So we can see here angle A is opposite to angle C. So when we add these two angles together, we'll get 180 degrees. The same thing holds true for angle B and angle D. 
because they both are opposite so we can write angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees now let us see how we can use this theorem to solve the given example above here we can see that the points A, B, C and D join together to give us a cyclic quadrilateral with all the vertices on the circle and angle B is opposite to angle D. So we can add them together that is angle B and angle D to get 180 degrees. And since angle B is given as 58 degrees so we can substitute over here 58 to get angle D. So we get the value of angle D as 180 degrees minus 58 which gives us an angle of 122 degrees. So now we know the value of angle D is 122. And since we have to find out the angle DCA, we can consider the triangle DCA and using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can now write here as so angle A plus angle D plus angle C is 180 degrees and substituting the values we have angle A given as 23 degrees and angle D we just now got it as 122 and angle C is unknown this is equal to 180 degrees so let us calculate this so angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 122 minus 23 which gives us a value of 35 degrees so we got the value of angle DCA as 35 degrees so let us write it over here angle DCA is 35 degrees so I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.